Hello, everyone. Dylan Olson's back here with another lesson on art and drawing. Today, I'm going to show you how to draw the main dog himself, Scooby-Doo. So, get a nice good piece of paper, grab a good pencil, sit back, relax, breathe, and let's get started. So, Scooby's not a human like everyone else on Mystery Inc. Instead, he's a dog. And we're going to draw his head, and he's... To start out with his neck and upper part of his head, we're going to draw this... Kind of this hot dog shape. And then, for the front side of his face, we'll draw... Like, above here, we're going to draw like a big oval. And it's really flattened out, not a perfect oval. And if you have tr if you struggle with drawing perfectly round circles or ovals, you're lucky. Almost looks like an Among Us character. And remember, like I always say, draw lightly. And then we're going to put down a center line. And then we've got now that we've got our kind of our basic building blocks. We're going to draw in the eyes. So we'll start up here, drawing one eye, and it's, this eye is kind of an egg shape. A, and remember to make sure it's following in the same path as these lines, because doing it that way will kind of make it look ugly. And then I gotta draw the other eye in. And these eyes are almost gonna be a little squished together, but they're not too close. Like, only like half an inch close to each other. And like the other one, it's an egg shape as well. And then we're gonna draw two circles. in each of these eyes for the pupils. He may not be a human, but both dogs and humans have pupils in their eyes. And now we need to draw this little line under his eye right there. And now we need to draw his eyebrows. So his eyebrows are gonna be really different from the others. These, this, these eyebrows are almost like bent rectangle shapes. And they're going to be like, yeah, they're gonna be like this. And then if you want, you can color in those eyebrows black right there and then I'll color in his eyes too Skipping ahead a little. Okay, we've got his eyes and his eyebrows drawn. Now we need to draw his ears. So we'll just go ahead a little and darken these lines right here and then then we're going to draw and one ear right here it's going to be a, this is the different ear from a different from the other angle and so we need to like put a curve like that a little bit of a backward c and then we will draw kind of these other oval shapes 
but except it's going to be a flattened out on that top right there. And then we need to draw another kind of a bean shape, except it's not going to be closed up to indicate the upper part of his ear. And then we'll just close it in just like that. After that, we need to get the other ear. So I'm going to start out with another oval shape. I'm going to draw it lightly. And then draw a slightly smaller one at the top. And then I'm going to draw like, almost looks like a bowling pin. Then I'm going to draw a line that goes straight up. And curves a little down like right there. Now I'm gonna like darken this part on the inside of his ear and then connect it up like that. Almost like a, a bowling pin cut in half. And now we're gonna draw like half an oval to indicate this part of his ear. Let me darken that in and then make a C shape right here. I'm going to darken that as well. And then I'm going to kind of darken this part of the side. It's going to be smoothed out. Unlike the light line we drew here, this one's going to curve back. All right. Now, we need to draw his nose and mouth. So, we'll draw a little line that goes underneath his right eye, and then draw a curve that goes, like, that stops, like, right there. And then we're gonna draw a, a little straight curve right there. And then I'm going to draw his nose. And his nose is a almost like a sideways rounded triangle. Like there's a round point right here and one there. So I'm going to quickly darken in this part of his nose. Darken in the rest of it. And then I'm gonna draw his mouth. He's usually a happy dog, so we're gonna make him smile with a big U shape, and curve to a point right there, and then make another U shape that moves up. Actually, it actually goes there, way more shallow, and then a dimple right there. I'll darken in so that it defines the difference from that. Remember, you gotta draw light. Otherwise, if you draw dark all the time, you'll end up making too many mistakes. It'll be hard to erase them and then the drawing will look ugly. Now, we're gonna draw the other side of his mouth, which goes like this. And then I'm going to draw the lower part of his mouth, which goes kind of like that, almost like an upside down wave. And then I'm going to draw a small triangle and shade that in to indicate that his mouth's open and he's obviously hungry, kind of like Shaggy is. And then for to finish off his mouth, we need to draw this U shape that goes like in between the dimple and the curve of his mouth. So I'm gonna draw, make this curve here and make a point that goes in the middle there.
and he kind of has these small circles. They're like potential holes for whiskers, but most dogs shouldn't have whiskers. But either way, I'm going to put them there. They're kind of like drawing freckles, but they're not freckles. They're... Because this side has three of them, I'm putting this side in two because this is the other side of his mouth being drawn from a different angle. And then we'll draw two circles right here. Now, let's make another neckline that curves slightly down. Then we're going to draw these two straight lines. They're like dog hairs. And now we need to draw his collar. So we're going to draw this kind of a sideways oval, but not a whole oval, because remember, it's wrapping around his neck. I'm going to draw that line right there. And then this line right here to make... We have to draw a slightly smaller line to make it look like it's a solid collar, a solid object. This is a key, like if you're going to draw any solid object. I'm going to draw their sides. Then I'll draw one more line that goes underneath it. And then we need to put his dog tag. It's shaped like a diamond and it goes right there. There's a circle that goes on the top of it. And then we gotta draw the ring. And we gotta make it look like it's wrapping, going inside his collar and into this ring. Just like that. Now we need to I'm going to darken in this part of the dog tag. Finish that off. And we need to put his logo. And it's an SD for Scooby-Doo. So I'm just going to draw an S. And a D. And then draw another diamond that goes around it. And then I'm going to, to finish this off, I'll just darken his collar up. Remember to make sure it's... Looks like, make sure you give the illusion that it's wrapped around his neck. I'm just going to quickly finish off the ring. You have to bring that side up a little. There, that's Scooby-Doo. I'm sure you did good on your drawing. If you need to watch the video again, feel free to do it again. I hope you had fun, and I'll see you next time. Bye.